Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Daikin data loader chip. This chip allows me to be able to program all of the Goodman, Amana, and Daikin variable speed furnaces in Air Handler to repopulate what we call shared data onto the indoor boards. It'll also allow me to be able to program some of the inverter boards for the outdoor equipment. Here's our part number right here that we use, the BTSDL. Zero 01. This chip is re, um, reusable, so you get it one time and you're going to have all the shared data that you need. Um, with the Daikin product, you're going to use an app called Daikin Data Loader. With a MANA equipment, um, you can use the Cool Cloud app that they use to be able to talk to their indoor boards on their communicating systems. Now after I've programmed the chip here, what I'm wanting to do is, is plug this on the board. Now there's a couple things I need to do first. I need to remove, oh well turn the power off first to the, to the system. Remove the green plug that's got your communication wires on it. Take it off the board. I'm going to plug the chip onto the, um, the slot. It's, it's marked X. Uh, 52A. So I plug this on the board. And then the next step is to repower the unit. I'm going to get a blinking um, LED on the board labeled HAP, and that lets me know that the, um, the data is being transferred. On some boards, it's a red LED, on others, you get both a green and a red LED. I usually let this thing go for about, you know, 45 seconds to 60 seconds. And then after that's done, I always like to come in here. I've got three buttons right below your digital readout. Um, they're going to be labeled Learned, Recall, and Test. So I like to hold the Learn button in for five seconds. Two, three, four, five, and release it. What that's going to do is re-jump start the communication bus. It's going to reshare all the data off our programming chip back to the unit. And that way I make sure that I get, I get good data transfer when I'm trying to reprogram this board. Um, once that we're satisfied that all the data has been transferred, I can power the unit down. Once the power is down, I can remove the chip off the board. Turn the chip off. I'll replug my communication plug back up to the board to make sure I've got it aligned up to the right pins. And then I can throw the power back up to it. It's going to take in between um, 10 to 15 minutes for the, um, the thermostat to renegotiate and talk to both of the indoor and outdoor board. And then you've got what they call a dike in five minutes um, time delay relay built into these boards which is actually about seven and a half minutes so yes it is a long five minutes if you have any questions um, you know please reach out to me if you like this type of videos and and so i can keep um, creating more just like and hit subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon bye all right, now that um, we've got the, the Daikin um, data loader um, app loaded down to our phone, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to open up the, the app. i got to make sure that I've got my Bluetooth turned on. Now it's looking here. I need to make sure that my little chip is turned on as well. It's indicated by a little blue flashing light. And as you can see, my app has um, recognized that I've got the shared data card, so I select the shared data card. Now, you can come in here and try to scan the 2D barcode that's on the, um, the data plate of the unit, but I like to go directly to the model number and enter, enter, enter the model number manually, so I've got a DX20, and as I enter the model number, it starts to populate fields here, so I'll scroll down and I'll find the DX20VC. Um, v stands for variable speed. C stands for communicating. 048 is 48,000 BTUs. You know, 12,000 BTUs per ton. 
um, I've got a revision of AB. So I'm going to select the AB revision. And then it asks me down here at the bottom, do I want to um, confirm and continue that I'm going to download the shared data from Houston and, and program this chip here so I'll be able to put the chip on, on my inverter board. Let this plane fly over. So I can reprogram the shared data on this card and reprogram my board. So we're going to hit confirm and continue. Hit yes. Now it's programming my chip and it's telling me that it's successfully shared the data over to my chip. And from this I can close the app out. We're done with the app. I don't need that anymore. So um, then it's a matter of just turning the power off to my unit, removing the communication plug, plugging this in and powering it back up and it's going to share the data over with, you know, over to the board. If I ever replace um, a variable speed board or a variable speed motor, you're probably going to need this chip to be able to get that system back up and running with the Goodman, Amana, and Daikin systems. So, um, very, very good chip to have. Um, it's got me out of a bunch of trouble after hours, weekends, things along them lines. If you'd like to see more videos, you know, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments or questions or, or would like to see mo some other type of video from us, uh, just drop me a line and I appreciate it. Thanks.